Hi, I'm Sean Michael Reagan, and you're watching Cool Tools. There are, of course, a bajillion ratcheting screwdrivers in the world, but I've always loved the old-timey spiral ratchet type. And though he couldn't be here today to say so himself, my friend Bob De Niro asked me to tell you he feels exactly the same way. Just a precaution, sir. The name Yankee screwdriver actually dates back to 1895 and is what most people still call this tool. You can also drill holes with it as well, but for that use it really is almost completely obsolete. For driving and removing screws, however, this design still works great. It's a lot faster than turning them in or out by hand, but unlike your cordless drill, you don't need a charged battery to use it. And it is a lot of fun to operate, at least if you've got a good one that runs smoothly without vibrating or locking up. And this is such a one. This little beauty was made by the Miller's Falls Company, originally of Miller's Falls, Massachusetts, sometime between 1936 and 1944. It's their model number 430, in case anyone's curious. I'm not really a big vintage tool collector, but I happened to run across this thing on eBay and managed to get it for a song, and when it showed up I thought, you know, I want to use this, rather than just hang it on the wall and look at it. I probably will hang it on the wall, just so it doesn't get beat up in a toolbox drawer, but that wall is going to be in the shop, in a place where I can grab it and use it. Only problem with this tool, and other so-called Yankee screwdrivers, is the bits. They use this obsolete notched D-shaft design, and though it does give a really strong positive locking action, there are at least three different standard shaft diameters for these, and any shape other than flat or Phillips head is very difficult, if not impossible, to find. So I thought, oh well, I'll make a hex bit adapter for it. That could be a fun project. I could probably just take a hex socket extender like this one, and maybe weld it to one of these old bits, then chuck it up in the lathe, and turn on it a bit to clean up the weld, and then... And I was about halfway down that particular rabbit hole when I thought, you know, you might check first and see if somebody else has already had this idea, and maybe you can just buy one. And sure enough, here is one that I found on eBay for $20. And here's a nicer one, apparently made in Germany, that I found on Amazon for $48. And, oh look, here's that same one over at Lee Valley Tools for $8.90. Lee Valley actually sells three different models, and which one you need depends on what size bits your particular Yankee screwdriver uses so you'll have to measure here to figure that out. Here's what it looks like right out of the box. As you can see, it pops in smoothly and locks up properly. It has a magnet in the bottom to help retain ferrous metal bits in the adapter and ferrous metal screws on the bit itself, as well as a push collar with an internal catch that works with positive locking hex bits like this one so they can't pull out the front. Let's take it for a spin. Okay, thank you for watching. As always, you'll find affiliate links in the description field down below the video. If you've seen something here you like, please do check those out, as well as our blog and our podcast over at cool-tools.org. We'll see you next time. Time to go. Sorry.